What's going on? Me? Yeah, what are you doing? Good. What are you doing? I'm skimming. What? How are you doing with this? What is that? Stop a walking away from me. It's a stream. Okay, so why are you bouncing around all the way? You have any idea on you? No. Don't go anywhere. All right, just relax. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm okay! I'm okay! Stay down. I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, I'm okay. Don't move. Okay. Do you understand? No, I'm okay. And uh, um, stop moving. I am okay. Don't you move? You understand? Yeah. I need help. Don't move. I need help. Don't stop moving. Am I gonna, am I gonna go away? Relax. I'll breathe. You are breathing. Yeah. I'm going to clap him down. I'm okay. Stop moving. I, am I gonna? Am I gonna? Are you gonna go away? Are you gonna go away? Just relax. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Just relax, okay? Yeah. Don't move. You're fine, okay? Don't move. You, you won't leave What's me. your name? Connor. Why are you acting like this, Connor? Because I'm okay. Stop moving. <laughs> No time is up. Relax. Who's this? Diane. He's fighting with me. What's going on? Do you know him? Okay. I'm so sorry. He needs to be. He okay. I'm waiting for another unit to show up and then we're going to figure out what's going on, okay? He's fine. He's breathing. He just started. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. No, I was trying to talk to him. I wasn't sure what was going on. And then he started trying to back away from me and then kind of pull away from me when he seemed like he wanted to it's run okay, away. Connor. It's okay, babe. Am I going to be okay? You're okay. You're okay, all right? I'm sorry, he scared you. Because I... he's doing something with his hands or something it's in his hands. Stimming. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's when you have autism. It's mm -hmm. his nerves. Okay. Oh, my God. That's fine. Mm. All right. You going to relax? Yeah. Okay, what's her name? Diane. Okay. It's okay, babes. Oh my god, his hand's turning white. Okay. Can you move? Yeah. Just stay right there, okay? Just stay calm, or don't move, baby. Just stay calm, okay? Yeah. You see the string in his hand? Yeah. That's what he's yeah, but I don't know. But I don't know if it was like some type of drug or something, because I couldn't see what he was doing. Because as soon as he was doing it. I know. I'm sorry. That's okay. He I'm comes over here and plays while I'm in the music lesson. Are you playing? Relax. Okay. Yeah. You don't have nothing on you, right? No. Okay. He's only 14 years old. Tom, I'm slow you in please. Okay, relax, okay? Yeah, I'll take a deep breath. Okay. Don't move, Connor, okay? Do me a favor, don't move. You drove by and you saw him skimming and you thought he was on drugs? A couple of times, yeah. You don't know anything about autism, huh? No. Sorry. That's okay. I'm not in trouble. No, you're not in trouble at all. All right, baby. he, he has understand. autism. Okay. Okay. He's 14 years old. So relax, right? okay? He won't scare me. No, you're okay. okay. You're it's good. just like John McCure. Just like John McCure. Police officer like John McCure. <clears throat> Both of them? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's all. I just want to make sure he doesn't have nothing on. Yeah, Why don't you sit up, okay? Yeah. Sit up. Four, four. Ah, yeah, that's fine. Sit up. Can you sit up all the way? There you go. Stand on up for me, okay? Yeah. There you go. You don't have nothing else? Nothing on you? No. Okay. Here, sit next to her right now, okay? Do you have ID okay, with babe. you, ma'am? Yes, I do. You're fine, babe. Just, just relax, okay? I'm sorry. All right. I was just in there making a new schedule for, for Danica's music lesson. Yeah, because I drove by a couple of times and... 
he seemed fine until he started doing something with his hands and then... He goes like, uh, it's called stimming. I'm sorry, you're not, if you knew about autism. It's okay. And then when I was trying to identify him, it seemed like he wanted to run away from me and... Well, because you scared him. Oh my God, you got... What's, what's his first name? Connor? Connor. Okay, what's his date of birth? Local return. New state return. New state return. New state return. New local return. New state return. New state return. Your assigned call has been updated. New state return. return. Give me a few more minutes, okay? Yeah. Uh, have you dealt with them before? Yeah. Okay. Right. What? I'm so wrong. Break you in half. Huh? Break you in half. So he has autism. So I drove by a few times and he seemed fine. And then he was doing something in his hand and like smelling it. And as soon as he was smelling it, it was like he was having like a miniature seizure while he was standing up. <laughs> so it was a string that the aunt was telling me about. So when I when string? I went to approach him, yeah, it was a string. I, I guess he has autism, so the string, I don't know if it calms him down or whatever. What's going on with him? Because he started backing away from me when I was trying to identify him and try to figure out what's in his hand. And he slightly turned to try and take off, and I went to grab him. And I had hands behind his back so I could detain him and figure out what's going on. And as his hands were behind his back, then he started pulling away from me and trying to... So I never let go of him until we twirled around by the tree and... He went down on the ground, I just held him there. I heard my radio go off, so I figured at least uh, if the radio went off, I knew someone was going to come, so. Oh. Service 1491 in the blind, negative 1029, 11 of 2017, on a 2005 Chevy pickup out of Avondale, 1547. Hey, where are you at? Okay, well, I have work here, so I wasn't sure if uh, you wanted me to talk to work or wait till you get here. 10 6 I have a negative contact. Okay. So, right, right. Lane, to Yep, I tried to get out of All right. So, I drove by.
walking by a couple of times, right? So I see him pacing from the bench to the corner, and he has something in his hand. Now we figure out it's a string, the string, the black thing he has in his yeah, hand. Yeah. I guess that's just in case I can see the string, right? So when I was watching him, he seemed fine, and then he would hit it on his hand and smell it like he's trying to get whatever air from it. And as soon as he does that, he just, like, you know, just goes in like a brief paralysis, you know what I mean? Just gets like frozen there and just, you know, stretches out his arms. So I'm figuring he's inhaling some type of, some type of inhaling or something. So I drove by a few times, kept seeing him do this. So I came up, parked here. I tried talking to him. He seemed, he seemed uh, fine compared to when I saw him when he started trying to inhale whatever he was inhaling. And I was saying, hey, what's going on? What are you doing? He's like, nothing. And then he said something about stimming. So I'm like, well, what is that? I'm not, you know, I don't know if it's a drug thing, a medical thing. I don't know what he meant by that. And then I asked him, well, what's your name? And he starts backing up. I'm like, hey, don't back up, don't back up for me. You know, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. He starts backing up some more. I went to uh, grab his hand. And uh, so I'm like, hey, just relax, just calm down. So I, when I went to detain him, put his hands behind his back. And as I start pulling out the handcuffs, he starts pulling away from me. So as soon as he starts pulling away from me, I still have a hold on him. So we're twirled around by the tree. And then we uh, fell down on the ground. And then I kind of fell on top of him and I just held him there because I knew I heard my radio chip off. So I figured someone was coming. So I just held him there. He uh, kept trying to move again a couple of times. Uh, I told him, hey, just relax, just calm down. I could feel how I grabbed him and there was nothing, no cutoff of anything. Hey, just relax. What's your name? He told me his first name. That was pretty much it. Then the aunt came. The aunt said, oh, well, he has autism, blah, blah. So I'm like, hey, do you know her? He's like, yeah. So then I started backing off. I'm like, hey, just calm down a little bit. You know what I mean? So as soon as I start backing off on him, you know, he arrived. Uh, made sure he didn't have any weapons or anything else on him. Um, uh, I had him sit with the aunt. And um, I need both of them. And that's pretty much where we're at right now. Okay. All right. Well, uh, Jeff's just kind of <coughs> calm. Hey, hey. Yeah, Jeff yeah. is over there. Yeah. Yeah. Give him a piece of paper that you can write. Thank you. Okay. Sure. That's just for Mia. Mia is two. Oh, I'm going to forget about my back pain for three minutes. Okay. You get along with that? You're hurting? Uh -huh. um, or do they irritate you? <laughs> no, no, they get along. Okay. <laughs> no, my sister's <laughs> irritate. My, boy, my daughter's irritate my boy, so I get it. Okay, perfect. Sisters are made to irritate brothers. Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> they are. He is such a good boy. Seriously, that's why I was just like, I'm so sorry. No, no, I don't know nice what's going on. I yelling, so. Oh, okay. Well, when we started falling on the ground, that's when I started yelling. But I just want to make sure that he was okay because, like I said, that string, I'm not familiar with it. So he seemed perfectly fine, but every time, like, he would hit his hand with it. Right. And then he would go like this, almost like he was trying to smell something. We have problems with some kids, you know, smelling, uh, inhaling, things like that. Almost like gasoline, stuff like that. So I wasn't sure if that's he what was like going it. on. He likes his string. We go mm -hmm. through a couple hundred of those strings. And there are, sometimes it's our shoelaces, too. Yeah. <laughs> so stand up, babe. You're okay. Bye. Alright, see you, Connor. Wait see you, Connor. Wait, 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 wait. Right, Thank you. Take care, okay? Yeah. You see me around, make sure you say hi, okay? Yeah. Just say hi. Right, it's just and say it's hi. Jeff, right? Yeah. It's Jeff. Alright. So, Thank you guys. So you live okay, here? let me just uh, talk no, to my boss real quick. Uh, I live right on Jack Rabbit Trail. Oh, okay. So, but we're here for the music because we go there. Oh, okay. And then we'll go to the park over. The you want to check with him real quick, school. see if he needed them to stay so or pick you up? here all the time. That's why it's just like, I'm just so blown What school is he going to? Oh, he's going to go to Millennium. Oh, Millennium? Okay. I work at Desert Edge. Okay. But we like Look. the program they have for them at Diane. Millennium. Okay. I'm going to see my friends at Millennium. Yes, you How long have you worked at Desert Edge? Terry Bennett and Brendan Sons. Three, almost four years. Okay, because my boy Jordan was at Desert Edge. What's your last name? Lumadu. What's your son's name? Jordan. He was in the uh, special needs class. Right, with Andy? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. I bet if I saw him, I'd recognize him. He probably him. would. Because so. I would help them when they come up all the time. Yeah. Like, you know Andrew is in his class? He's a stocky little guy. I think so. I think I've heard him mention the name. <laughs> Everybody knows Andrew. They get him all wild up. Do you know John McCure? Mm. He's a police officer in Goodyear. 
if he worked at Desert Edge, probably oh, no, Jordan would make Because Jordan was always mentioning the, the officers. That oh, yeah, we school. have two different officers. I told him if there are any problems, you go to those guys and talk to them because they'll help you out. So. All right. Well, no hard feelings. Yeah, no, no, no. I tried fine. to be calm. I saw no, you on no, him and I okay. was just like, okay. I well, I wasn't hurting him. I was just trying to hold him until I had another person come. That's all. Right. But just hang that I'm just, I'm just making sure you my boss panicked, is good. So you had me panicked. No. You had that look on your face like you weren't sure what the Thank heck you. was going. On. Thanks, Jeff. All right. And I'll look forward because I want. I'd love to get one of those for Connor. Find out, I'll give you a call. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Right. But yeah, no, you just you had this look like you. What the heck is going on here? No, no, no. Fine. So and then Chelsea, because you, you were checking him too, and I'm like, trust me, it's. Hey, I'm very sorry. No, it's fine, buddy. Yeah. It's okay. Next time you see me, just say hi. Yeah. Just say hi. Yeah. Okay. It's Officer... Grossman. Grossman. Oh, that's an easy one. Grossman. Officer Grossman. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, take care. I'm sorry to cause you all this. No, 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 no. Like I said, just hang tight real quick so my boss... Oh, does. do you that's need all. something? I just want to make sure my boss doesn't need nothing from me at all. Oh, okay. Well, you have my driver's license. <laughs> it's it's <okay>. current. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, I know you Buckeye people know us for my divorce. That's for sure. Not, not me. No, have you been around very long? Yeah, but I don't deal with home issues. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I don't think it's been over a year, so thank God. But my ex, my kids wouldn't go, so he'd call the police and make them come to force the kids to leave. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's always a bad thing. Oh, it's always, that's why I'm like, I do not want to have to deal with you guys. <laughs> I try to be good. It's like, oh, man. <laughs> okay. I just can't believe it. I'm just so sorry. I mean, no, I can't imagine, fine. you know, I guess, I mean, I can see when you showed up. No, it's okay. Probably better it was where you were in the position you were instead of when I saw you, if I saw you wrestling with him. That would have been like, ah! Well, I was talking to him just like this, and he kept kind of getting, you know, trying to back away from me and kind of almost looked like he wanted to run somewhere, oh, you know. Well, because he probably wanted to run into where I was. Oh, no, it was in that direction over oh, there. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, because usually when we come, I'll sit on the bench there, but it's summertime, and we're trying to switch now from summer schedule to school schedule, and I didn't think anything. So I thought, oh, I'll just walk out and see what Connor's doing, and I'm like, oh. That would no, be it's okay. Yeah, but now I get to tell Mom and Dad. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Hi. Hello. Hi. Are you the boss? Yeah, he's yes. my boss. Oh, okay. How I just doing? see you walking in. I'm not sure How what you're you? looking like. Is he okay? Oh, he's fine. Okay. Yeah, he already he's talked to injured. the officer. No, I mean, he just has the mark on his face, but... Okay. Um, why don't you take a photo of that? This sure. Or, right. Do you want to... Is he okay with me taking the picture, or okay. do you want to do it? I'm going to get you an eight then. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, here, you know what? How about I hold him? You can take it. There you go. Okay. I'm going to take a picture of your face, okay? This one's different. You're such a good boy. You know I love you. Okay. And you just... Do you want the grass stain on his shirt, too? No, I don't think so. Okay. But well, you he's he's okay. He's I go to Millennium High School and see Bernie Sanders. Oh, he's Terry fine. Bennett. Okay. He's very flexible. Okay. <laughs> so it was just a very odd situation, and you know maybe you should. I mean, don't take this wrong way, but maybe no, okay. your officers should learn more about you know disabilities too. Definitely. Yeah, there's a training uh, dealing with. That's what Jeff was saying. Right. Jeff said it was new to you guys and everything. Okay. So. All right. But, uh, well, if there's anything. Could do. I'm gonna leave you my business oh, okay. card, and uh, if anything come up, just give me a call. Okay. All right. I'll see how mom and dad act. I have to tell them. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. It's just weird. Oh, you're Eric. Okay. Right. Yeah. Like I was telling him, he kind of here all the time. You know, and he walks down the stairs, and he doesn't, he doesn't bother anybody. He usually stays away. That's why uh -huh. too. He has to have like more Chuggy Cheese. My dad said to me, he goes, he's really good. You know, he doesn't bother anybody. He just stays in his own little... No, like I said, like, the only thing that distracted was whatever was in his hand. Yeah. He was bringing up to his face almost like he was trying to inhale something. That's what made me assume that he might have been trying to... Like this. Yeah. It's that's what. It's all part of the stemming thing. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I have to live with it all okay. the time. So you can get used to it. So. Well, right. we've uh, passed it on to mom and dad. Yeah, I will. If you have any questions, give me. Jeff told me about a really good program because, you, like, you know, Connor doesn't have any ID on him and he doesn't look 14. Yeah. So, yeah. in the future, then that way you can have, like, an ID. So, would you look for, if you saw that on him? Oh, you don't know anything about the program? Well, we pay him. attention to, like, medical bands and stuff like that. Oh, okay. And I'm going to talk to him. 
So now that we had this incident, if anything ever happens in the future, and you see somebody, a police officer approaching, I'll tell them to say, you know, hey, you know, tell them where I'm at or something, you know, or at least talk to them. So okay. it's all good, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm just kind of freaked out by the whole thing because, like I said, I, to walk up on it, I hope I was calm enough. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. You're fine. Okay. Yeah. That's why I sat down. I'm like, I'm just going to sit here so Connor can see me and know that everything's okay. Yeah. So, All right. I guess I was just kind of confused, like, at one point, if he could have just let him up a little more. I mean, his hand was turning white. You know what I mean? He, especially because you knew that I, Connor knew who I was and mm -hmm. stuff. It would have been just that part, but I don't know. I mean, you can't change what already happened, but it's... But I, you know, you guys' lives are at risk all the time, so I totally get it. That's okay. I lost one of my friends, Dave Blaster, last year, so that was really bad. And so I get it. But it's just hard when it's your own. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys take care and be safe, right. okay? No problem. Have a good night. You too. Bye.